Alright guys, welcome back. Um, today I believe I'm going to jump right into it. Um, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you want notifications, click the bell. And you can wait until the end of the video if you like it, give it a thumbs up. But I think as of today, we're going to harvest the pig, try and sell the pig, see how much money we can get out of it. And hopefully, by doing that, we can either buy another cow and another pig, or buy a couple more pigs. Because I do know they go for a pretty good amount. So. Hi, right, guys. Um. I actually had a pretty good idea. I'm going to try it. I know it's really jank and the way you're not supposed to do it, but I'm going to try it out and just see if it works. Because, like I said, the side side is too small to carry all the meat that the pig gives us, so we're going to try something stupid and try and take the pig inside the general store and harvest it inside the general store just so I don't have to try and get every single piece in here oops just so I don't have to try and get every single piece in here and fight this thing all the way over which I have thought about doing it but I'm going to see if it's going to work I'm hoping it will but it may not because I don't know if he'll be able to get through the door because he's pretty wide But well, once we get up here, we'll find out. We'll just lead him, lead him around up to the front door. Maybe get him in. If not, then at least then you know he's right here. So it won't be too bad to carry all the meat. Right, so let's see. If I pull him out. Oh no. Okay. And saying I'm kind of hoping too they'd put like a little shopping cart thing out here. That way you can pull up with big loads and just park out here instead of having to take everything inside. Coming. Don't tell me you can't fit through there. Oh, well, you can. You're just being a butt about it. So hard to get him to get up here. I don't know if he's just going to levitate on up here or what the deal is. Alright, so apparently I don't think he's going to be able to do that, so. Oh man. I mean, and then, like I said, you know, it just gives you a lot. I mean. Like more than what you know to do with. So I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, you run around a little bit more, but I believe this will be a much better way to do it until I can get a bigger vehicle, because I'm not having, you know, constantly get out of the side by side and constantly put me back in it. That's one thing I wish they would do is like be able to let us place meat on top of each other, <clears throat> but. You know, not that I mean, it's not, not bad. So I just kind of figured if you could stack wood, you could stack meat, but for some reason it don't work that way.
Alright, well, I'll take it out soon here. I'll bring y'all back. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and bring y'all back to this because, uh, one more face of me to grab. And then we'll go inside. Set this last feet down. I mean, dude, just like all that from one pig. That is ridiculous. But anyway, so we can go here, you know, get the pat or pig for three hundred dollars. So after it grows, you get twenty-one pieces of meat, thirty-five dollars piece, seven hundred thirty-five dollars. So obviously we're gonna sell that, and obviously we're gonna, since now we've got a thousand, I'm going to buy two more pigs. That way, next time I come, I can get twice as much. I believe I'm good. I don't think I need anything else. I can get on bullets. Uh, since we're here, we'll go ahead and grab a couple of bags of wheat. So I'll have to, probably have to come back for the wheat. Let's go outside and get my. Piggies. So yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get my bags of wheat. So we'll have to take the piggies down and then come back up here. Let me go ahead and get those bags of wheat out just in case we're closed by the time I get back. So I really don't want them closed and I've got to wait another day. I've been thinking about buying another jerry can though. Just because it just seems like you do go through a lot of fuel. Yep, yeah, I'm trying to get these guys back and then I'll hit the gas station. Alright, anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so, I made it back to the ranch. Uh, Still forgot to go get my feed. I got the two pigs in there. Anyway, I wanted to just show y'all this. So once your baby chicks grow up, they can either be a hen or a rooster. And I've gotten another rooster. Which I'm really debating if I want to make a box just for a rooster. That way I can put them over there. Then when I get a couple... Uh, I ain't going to do it right now because I'm... So I'm gonna wait until I get at least a little bit of money while I'm holding at least a thousand dollars at a time. So we'll put him in here. So we'll put that one in there. No, no, no. pretty good so yeah I'm building another pen maybe like this one just for roosters that way I can have a you know decent amount I'm not sure yet but anyway <clears throat> so I need to go to the general store and grab those other few bags of food and we've got three eggs in here more. 
Yeah, see, and I just want to move that rooster too because I didn't want any of the hens in here becoming mamas. So, kind of why I did that. But anyway, um, I do need to give those guys some water. So they got water. These guys will need water. And so, like I was saying yesterday, I think if you stand right here, I think it makes it a little bit easier. Well, much. I need to spoken too soon. Yeah, I really think it's too soon on that one. Anyway. So I thought if you stood to the side, it made it a little bit easier to do that. Which, I mean, the well is nice to have. <clears throat> so like I said, that little cooler thing runs out of water. Throw one more bucket of water in here. I mean, you can slowly watch it rise. So I'm saying, I think they maybe would take three buckets of water in there. May do that. Just fill it all the way up. Just ain't gonna do the, deal with it for a minute. Getting a little bit low on food. So we'll go ahead and throw back food in there too. Um, then I still got to drive down to the general store and get my other couple of bags. Alright, well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead down there and I'll be there in a minute. So anyway, got the uh, got all these guys taken care of. They're all looking pretty good. Um, all these guys in here is looking pretty good. So I think now I'm gonna go out here and try and milk the cow. Then maybe see what to do after that. Go ahead and open these doors up. Let them run. Oops. Like I said, I think I'm going to build another one of these coops over here for roosters because I think you can have up to 20. And I'm kind of thinking, I'm like, if I can keep at least 5 or, you know, just say 20 roosters, that would be a really good payday. So I may do that. Because like I said, you know, this guy, actually both these guys are actually free. I didn't. They, you know, they were half self, so I don't have any money tied in with them. I'm about 99% sure if you grab any of them eggs in there, they're probably going to turn into baby chicks. But I'm not totally sure yet. 
So, how much is it to build this other coop? Small one, only hold three, this one holds eight. Five hundred dollars for that. And it'll hold up to twenty. I'd say that one only holds twenty, that one's massive. But I mean honestly though, if we're just keeping roosters in it so we can harvest them, I mean we could do three or eight. Man, I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna go with. So I would like to try and get my roosters separated. Alright, I'll talk to you in a second. Right, sorry, I got distracted there for a second. So, anyway, I was talking about chicken coops. Um, you know, I'm not really sure which one I want to go with. Because, I mean, this is a medium sized one. It'll hold eight cans, I think. For 250. I mean, even if I do that, I still have money left over. So. I might go ahead and do this one. Let's see. But if I do that, because I think it's like $100 to add a little feeders in it. So, we'll go ahead and build this one. Yep, $100 to add those in. Alright, that's no big deal. Um, so I can get that here in a little bit. So, now with this one being made, I'll have to wait, but at least now I have it. But, you know, now I can get some of these guys taken out here. And then see if anything else happens with any more of the mags in there. So I'm just wondering if maybe you can demolish these. So you can add different ones. Oh, okay, cool, you can. Nice. Yeah, I was kind of wondering about that. I was like, what if I want to build one, you know, build three of these or, you know, the other one that's like this size but looks better. Alright, so I just decided to go ahead and collect some more eggs. Because if I'm thinking right, I'm thinking I may be able to sell these and still have some money left over in my pocket if I would build the water trough. Because I think I've got $80 right now. So if I do that, then I should be left over with $2 more. But I don't know how many eggs I have in here, so I can't really do the math on it yet. Oh, this one has lot five. So I'm also kind of curious too on how much you can get out of this thing if it's like plum full. I mean, that looks like a pretty good amount in there now, anyway. Well, I'll do that for another video. It's just like save up. See how much you can get out of a whole egg basket. Now I'll get in there one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Alright, well, I may wait until in the morning. That way I can try to milk that one more time. I may go ahead and make it twice or two more times. That way I can try and sell the milk and the eggs and see what I can come up with and it's almost time to go to bed so I'll holler at y'all here in a second I'm gonna go to bed be back in the morning I just woke up like I said 7.50 something but anyway you know, 8 o'clock boom outside so anyway we're going to go over here and Milk a cow. 
may wait one more time and get in here, piggy. Good, start milking. That is really cool though. I need to come in here and clean out some of the food one day. So, maybe one more bucket. But we'll go ahead and see if there's any more uh, eggs in here. No. No. What I got last night may have been all the eggs they would have laid. See, and like I said, I think if I pick any of those up in there, they could possibly be fertile, so. Kind of not wanting to do that. But yeah, I definitely want to try and get some more money before I do anything. Looks like the pigs are putting some weight on. Alright, so I'm waiting on the uh, cow. I decided to go ahead and start cleaning out this chicken coop a little bit. I'm trying to collect all the eggs out of it because it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 eggs just laying in here. So, try and pick them up. Hopefully, I don't get any hatching off in the basket, but we will see. Be nice to pick up just more than just one, but it's all good, though. I just wonder if maybe you could sell, like, baby chicks to the general store. But I don't know if you're allowed to sell live, live livestock. Okay, so that egg's probably gonna have something in it. I don't know. We'll grab these two eggs here. <coughs> Throw them there. Get her back in there. Cause now she's mad at me. So we get the roost to put back in there. Was there really another? Okay. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. Cause she's being mean. She's gonna go in there or not. Oh, you stupid. Go in there. Leave me alone. So it looks like I've got two more butt nuggets laying in here. We will throw those in there. She's still mad at me. So I'm just wondering if maybe pick it up. No. I 
So they have this one rooster over here by himself, so I need to get him out till I can make it down to the general store. <clears throat> or I could harvest him. But, okay, so we're good, so I ain't gonna worry about that. But after I get this other coop build, I'll start putting my roosters and stuff down here. That way I kind of maintain how many hens I've got. <clears throat> but I've only hatched off two roosters, and from what I'm saying, it's like every three to five. <clears throat> so anyway, we're going to try and milk the cow once more, and then I guess we're going to go to the general store. Ah, right, yeah, she's getting milk this time. So we're going to try and milk her once more. Get everything loaded up into the side side and head up to the general store. Try and sell this and then I'll get my roosters and stuff separated. You know, with the poop and stuff laying around, you know, it would almost be nice if you could collect it somehow and be able to sell it for like manure or something. I mean, since it's going to be in the game, you got to clean it up. I'm like, man, might as well be able to resource it like you can in real life because that's kind of what this game's like all about you know real life all right so we'll collect some more eggs here real quick before we take off pick that up <clears throat> I'd say, and then once you ever you pull out of your breeding box, you really want to interact with your basket a little bit more. Just make sure you ain't got any more of those little baby chicks hopping on you. That was full. Up. See, and then these things go for six dollars a piece. So, you know, you get a basket like that. You know, it's not too bad of a. It's not too bad. I mean, it takes a little bit, but really kind of, kind of worth it. So I'm gonna take all these up here along with that milk. <clears throat> and well, actually, I'm probably just gonna wait a minute because it's almost dark, and I can go to sleep here. About 45 seconds. So, I'll just kind of wait around, go to bed, and then uh, get back with y'all in the morning whenever I'm heading back up there. Alright, so anyway, um, it's actually in the morning. Oh, crap. I'm actually going to milk the cow one more time. See, and that's what you gotta watch out, man. It's like, you can have them eggs, and you don't know if they're fertile or not. Looks like they need some food. So, we'll feed them real quick. And from what I'm figuring out, it takes about two bags of food to fill that completely up. They look good on water. These guys need food. So yeah, whenever I get down here, I guess I'm going to have to buy uh, a couple things of food too. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and Milk the cow one more time.
See if we can't get this milk jug completely full. So I haven't ran into anything else, so. You know, if anybody else plays too, you know, have y'all had any problems out of like coyotes and bears and stuff coming over to it? Oh, yeah, look at that. It's full now. So, should be able to get full payday or not. <clears throat> Cause yeah, like I said, you know, I had that one encounter. After that, nothing. <clears throat> have not had any more encounters since then. So. I don't know. Alright, so let's take all this up here to the general store. Sell it all. And then, uh. We will. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, we got to the general store, sell all this, and then, uh. Buy a couple bags of grain. Or of wheat, anyway. Alright, well I'll be back with you in a minute. Alright, so, just for the milk and eggs, I'm wondering how much that'll be worth. <clears throat> so, we've got 35 milk, so 105, and then we've got, wow, 51 eggs. That's $306, so $411. And that's just for milk and eggs. So, I'm gonna buy... One, two, three, four. Yeah, that should work. So we'll do that. Oh no, that's right. I always forget about the little jugs and stuff. Because now I really don't know. Because I'll probably have to come back. And get the grain and stuff. On well, most of it anyway. So I mean, I may be able to get. A I don't know what happened just now, but. <clears throat> kind of like cut everybody off. So, anyway, I'm trying to get all this squeezed on here. If not, then I'll have to come back. I'm really hoping I ain't got to come back for one bag either. But, may have to. Why am I putting this in here? I wonder if I can sell those. Nope. Alright, so I'm trying to do some other stuff. Like, how cool would this be if you, like, you could, like, stack on top of stuff? Set that down here. I don't know if this actually works out, I'll show you how I did it, but I'll be back with y'all in a second. Yeah, um so anyway, I was on my way back here to get this bag of wheat. And there's actually a deer stand here, so I went ahead and I was like, you know what? That's just gonna stand there. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it. And I forgot to record for it, so sorry about that. But, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna go up here to the general store, sell the meat real quick. Um, <clears throat> so I can't remember if I gave you a general idea of how much one deer would go if you would just sell the meat. But I can show you that real quick. And we're already here at the general store anyway. Daggone piggy, like seven hundred dollars. 
Which I mean, a pig, um, I really would say it's not not a bad investment. Because, I mean, you almost, almost double your money with a pig. Because I think you buy them for three and you get almost seven out of them when you harvest them, so. Really not that bad. So I don't think I need to buy anything else while I'm up here, though. I think I'm pretty well good. Alright, so it gives you $105. So, more or less, $105 for each animal that you would kill. So, so that's $416. Pretty much what we're going to end out today. But I'm going to get back down here to the ranch. And I'll see y'all in a second. Alright guys, I think this is where I'm going to go ahead and wrap up video at for today um so more or less today was just more just trying to learn you know chickens and the pigs which reminds me I kind of forgot to do this so go ahead and do that real quick um so you know we've got the pigs figured out we've got the cow figured out we've got the chickens figured out um so, you know, we really ain't got much else. I mean, we've got a bunch more to do, but as of right now, I think we're on the right track to making it a pretty good money, money-making ranch. If we can uh, keep it up, I think... Um, my mind's got a lot of things going on right now. I'm trying to get the other coop going. But, uh, I, I think, uh, <clears throat> if we can get somebody else in here to give me a hand, I believe I can probably get this done faster and maybe get it done uh, a little bit better. And, I mean, it also look good, too, you know, having a couple more vehicles. But yeah, I think uh, that's what I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today. Um, and like I said before, if you're new around here, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more and know whenever I upload, just go ahead and hit the little notification button. But until next time, I'll see you on the next one.